Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are continuing with our or we are going to continue with our advanced shell scripting course. I think I started a few months back but then I have to cut it short because I wanted to do Kubernetes. So I did a course on Kubernetes, right? So if you haven't watched it, just go into the playlist and you'll find a playlist for Kubernetes. Go ahead and watch that if you're preparing for CK or something like that, right? And now since I had the time, I thought I'll just continue with the advanced shell scripting course. So in this video, I'm going to, I mean, this is going, I'm just going to keep it very short and I'll show you advanced commenting, right? So let's start. So I actually have a very basic shell script over here. You can see I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just echoing some text and then I'm running a command PWD and then another command ls hyphen lrt and then I'm echoing another string, right? So let's first get into the Vim. All right. So advanced commenting. So first thing I'm going to cover is multi-line comments. So you must be aware if you are familiar with shell scripting because this is advanced shell scripting course. So I'm not going to cover any basics or anything. I'm assuming that you know that already. If you want to comment anything in a shell script, you use the pound symbol or the hash symbol, right? So you just go into insert mode and you just go into the line which you want to comment and you just put the pound symbol, right? That's when you're commenting single lines. But suppose if you have a very long shell script and you want to comment multiple lines, you want to basically comment say a block of uh, code which you don't want to execute, how do you do that? So there are multiple ways and I'm trying to, I'll try to cover most of them, right? Let's see. So this is like a five line, uh, shell script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment say from line number three uh, to the end of the script, right? So like PWD, LS hyphen LRT and echo end of script. So these lines I want to comment, uh, comment, right? So first I'll just do less than less than sign and I'll say end of script. And at the end, I'll just go and I'll say EOF, end of file, end of script, whatever you want, right? And then I'll save. And when I'll run the script, only the first line should execute, which is echo hello world, and rest of the line should not execute, right? We clear the screen and demo.sh. And you can see I'm only getting hello world, which is the first line, right? Okay, let's go back into the script. So this is the first way of commenting multiple lines. Let's get rid of this, get rid of this as well. Now the second uh, way of commenting is uh, if you are using Vim or VI, so you can comment it in VI as well. I am just talking about VI because this is very VI specific thing. The next two methods which I'm going to tell you are VI Vim specific, right? So. What you need to do is you need to go into the command execution mode, right? Command mode. And then you can comment based on line numbers. So say, suppose I want to comment from line one, two, three to line number five. So from three to five, I want to comment. So what I can do is I can do three comma five. Then I'll just do simple said uh, syntax. So the beginning of the line and I want to put a comment, right? And as soon as I put, hit enter, you can see the lines have been commented, right? Okay, so this was the second way. Let me just undo this, right? So simple U, you can press to undo in Vim or VI. And now the last way, so this is the final way of commenting is actually to go into visual mode, right, in Vim. So you can do that by pressing control V and you can see it has started a visual block and wherever your cursor first, yeah, first thing you need to do is you need to bring the cursor to the line from where you want to start commenting, right? So my cursor is on PWD. So I'll just bring it to the end of the script, right? Then I'll press, press shift I to go into the insert mode and then I'll press the pound symbol, which is shift three. All right, so you can see only my PWD is commented, but then I'll press escape 
and you can see all my lines below PWD have been commented, right? So let me just save this and come again and execute the script and you can see I'm just getting hello world. So yeah, so this is it for this video. Very short video, just advanced way of commenting in shell script. Remember, I mean, commenting in any uh, programming is very helpful. It is helpful to the person who's reading your uh, code, right? And it is also helpful to you if you come back to your code after say six months or uh, eight months, right? So it's, it's very helpful for you as well. So please do uh, like inculcate commenting uh, habit, right? You should comment your code. All right, so this is it for this video. I hope you like the video guys. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.